Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lingo Reacts. Um, welcome in general. Uh, I wanted to make this video. I know we're not in our same studio setup. Uh, Coop isn't here as well. He's in India. He's traveling. But I wanted to. Be, uh, I, I essentially wanted to share this story because I thought it shook the world um, and the world that we live in. You know, we uh, we make videos. We make reaction videos to mostly K-pop songs and South Korean music. And um, and to see this story develop into what it has um, is really shocking to us. So I wanted to share this story and kind of get feedback from everybody else who is also watching. Um, I'll read an excerpt from CNN, uh, kind of breaking down the story, a story that I'm sure a lot of you have heard about over the past couple of days. And, uh, and I'll discuss it a little bit and hopefully we'll uh, hear what you guys have to say as well. Uh, two high-profile K-pop stars have been sentenced to prison for sexual assault, the latest development in a sexual abuse scandal that shocked South Korea and its music industry. Singer-songwriter Jung Jun Young and musician Choi Jun Jong Hoo, excuse me, were on Friday convicted of conspiring in sexual assault of a woman who was incapable of resisting, according to the Seoul Central District Court. Jung was also found guilty of filming women against their will and sharing the sexually explicit materials to members of an online group chat. The court jailed Jung for six years and Choi for five years. Both men are also required to complete 80 hours of sexual violence treatment in a program. Allegations of the crimes were first made public in March in the so-called Burning Sun scandal. The Burning Sun Club, located in Seoul's upscale Gangnam neighborhood, was allegedly the site of bribery, violence against customers, securing prostitu prostitutes for VIPs, rape, drug trafficking, and drug use. And that's all according to the Seoul Metropolitan Police. South Korea police confirmed that Jung and Choi were among 10 members of a group chat which shared these explicit videos. Jung was arrested seven days later, admitting to the charges and apologizing. Um, the investigation into Jung began a separate probe into K-pop idol, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce this, Sungri. Uh, the Big Bang star who oversaw publicity for Burning Sun was accused of procuring women for prostitution and was also in the group chat. In March, of 20, uh, in March the 28-year-old announced his retirement from the entertainment industry, saying that he was becoming an issue, uh, 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 an enemy of the state. The same month, a separate investigation found 1,600 people had been secretly filmed in motel rooms with the footage live streamed to more than 4,000 customers. Note that they say customers because they're paying people. Um, it comes after tens of thousands of women took to the streets of Seoul in 2018 to protest under the slogan, my life is not your porn. The ongoing scandal also calls into questions K-pop's supposedly squeaky clean image. Stars are expected to conform to notoriety and, and it goes on. The article essentially goes on and, um, and explains how this affects K-pop. And I wanted to do a little bit of the same. We got thrust into this world of K-pop. Um, you know, we started to like the music, we enjoyed it, and it was it was great to hear. It's it's so different from what we hear on a daily basis here in Canada and North America. It's um it's very touching because and, and this topic is very, very sensitive because so many young girls and women and ladies listen to k-pop they watch k-pop stars they idolize the k these k-pop stars and to see that this type of story comes out is traumatizing especially for those young girls imagine hearing some of your idols are in this type of court case imagine they're accused of something like that imagine if they get sentenced to prison for something like that right what does that go to say about the other people that you idolize and um you're right, the article actually makes a very good point. What does this they say about K-pop's very, very squeaky clean image? A lot of people think that, you know, a lot of K-pop stars are, are the perfect uh, person. You know, a lot of times, even entertainment, people in entertainment are idolized, thinking that we put them on this high pedestal to be uh, perfect, essentially. We expect them to be perfect. And while I'm not saying that, you know, this is a fault of a, it, at the end of the day, what they did was horrific. It was disgusting. And it shocked me to my core because when you go out and you react to these videos, when you go out and uh, you make videos, you don't necessarily realize 
that some of these people may have very, very dark pasts, dark backgrounds, things that they may have done, right? If you look at the West, and I'm, another thing that I wanted to say was, I'm glad that I'm glad that South Korea actually convicted these two. I'm glad that they're going to prison, and I'm glad that, in general, the world of K-pop understands that this should have been done. Because if you look at North America and what they do and and how they, it's pretty much a slap on the wrist for a lot of entertainment people. If you look at R. Kelly, there is mounts of evidence against R. Kelly, and yet he's still roaming the streets free. The thing is, North America wasn't able to to hold him accountable, right? But we're putting these two gentlemen in, 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 accountable for what they did, accountable for their actions. And it's it's rightfully so. They deserve to go to prison. They deserve to be, it's, it's, it's deserving. And at the end of the day, if we look back on, uh, on other K-pop stars and, and other situations, um, we'll look at this and say that this was the right move. Um, because it has shaken the industry and, and K-pop in general. The music industry is now learning a lesson about um, pretty much t entertainment people, stars, celebrities, taking advantage of people that may not understand. So first of all, prostitution, rape, a group chat, a group chat of 10 people that also helped these artists with this crime. It's it's shocking to be honest. It's shocking to my core. I I I'm kind of lost for words in a sense because of how crazy of a of a story this is. Obviously, this has been going on for about a year, but it just goes to show you that South Korea is willing to do something about it. And maybe maybe North America should do something as well. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, I would love to hear your comments and, and let you guys know, or you guys let me know what you guys think on the situation as well. As always, I'm looking to learn more information about it. I am an outsider in the world of K-pop, and uh, we're always looking to learn more. So please let us know. Let us know what your thoughts are, and have a nice day. Take care.